Good morning. I'm Barbara Cavanaugh, and I'm the founder and president of the Arizona Myeloma Network. One of the really wonderful parts of what we're doing here at Arizona Myeloma Network is meeting some of the, the most dedicated, most uh, interested, and also the, the best quality people uh, working in the area of myeloma in, in the, not only this country, but in the world. And one of them, of course, is Dr. Robert Kyle. It's a pleasure for me to be here again. It's also a challenge because uh, uh, you people with multiple myeloma here in the audience range from people who have barely heard the word multiple myeloma to people who are very knowledgeable and very sophisticated about it and in fact in many instances know more than your uh, doctor about, uh, 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 about this disease. I hope to uh, be somewhere in the middle, but during our uh, questions and so forth and uh, other meetings throughout the day or between uh, uh, sessions and so forth, uh, uh, I'd be more than happy to attempt to answer any questions. I'm Jack Cavanaugh. I'm, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, multiple myeloma uh, 20 years ago, actually. and. Um, my wife uh, at the time, or shortly afterward, uh, decided that uh, she wanted to start an organization to um, basically inform people uh, more about this disease because it's a relatively rare cancer. And um, so she started the Arizona Myeloma Network since we live in Arizona and she wanted to focus on the local community. Hello, my name is James Young. I'm 39 years old. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma when I was 37. The one thing I can tell you is that there's hope and there, there's a lot of uh, research being done. Th that's what one of these conferences is about. That's what you gain from it, is gaining the knowledge. And knowledge truly is power. And it's, it's very important as, as a patient to be your own advocate and to keep yourself informed. I'm Robert Kyle from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I've had a long time interest in multiple myeloma. The most exciting thing in cancer research today is the amount, first of all, of research that is going on. Uh, advances are being made and when one looks back, one sees the patient, particularly the patient with multiple myeloma, gets along much, much better today than he or she did even just a decade ago. Hi, my name is Michelle Pittman. I'm at LVN with the Patient Advocate Foundation. I'm a case manager and I'm here to present our organization to patients and let them know we're here as an additional resource for them that they might not know about for whether it's insurance issues, access to care, job retention issues, or just financial stability problems that they may be having due to their cancer. I'm Bill Hyde. I'm the president of the Plumbers and Pipefitters International Union, and I was diagnosed with myeloma three years ago. In fact, almost three years ago to the day. It's a rare cancer, and there's not a lot out there on it unless you go online, and then you don't get a heck of a lot of information. You talk to your doctor, but they're on a different planet. But when you come here and you meet, you meet the people here, you meet 100 people that have multiple myeloma, you listen to the doctors and they put it in layman's terms, what's going on, all the latest technology, and then you hear the questions and get the answers from the people who are in the same boat as you are. I mean, this is the only place that I've ever gone to where I've gotten the kind of information that I got at the myeloma, Arizona Myeloma Network, at the functions they put on, it's, it's great and they have the best doctors in the world that are talking about it and the latest technology you hear about and it gives everybody a little bit of hope that you know hey look I'm not in this alone. When you come to you know like a program like this and you see all the people right. and you realize we're not the only ones. No, you're not alone in this, that's no, for sure. No, no. There's lots of other people that go through it too. Well, yeah. and cancer used to be a real scary word, but like I said, now we live in a society where you hear about it all the time, and you live with cancer. 
movement. People are More people for. are talking yeah. mm -hmm. and helping. Mm -hmm. And that's what has been so remarkable.